welcome to mathematics class straight line part 1 sarala rekhalu modati bhagam very important concept very important topic in coordinate geometry the straight line sarala rekha equation of a straight line is an algebraic condition which is satisfied by every point on it and by no other point equation of a straight line is an algebraic condition which is satisfied by every point on it and no other point so every point on the straight line satisfies the equation so we can able to say whether a point belongs to the point the, the straight line or not by substituting if the point satisfies then it is on the line if it does not satisfy then it is not on the line so in locus we have discussed what is locus so a straight line also it is the locus of points which satisfies this algebraic condition so that is the straight line ko bija ganita niyamalanu padinche bindula bindu patame sarala rekha anavachu it is the locus of points which satisfies an algebraic condition let us recapitulate what we have learnt in previous classes kindi taratlalo manam telusukuna vaatini okka sare gamaninchinataithe horizontal lines and vertical lines any pair of perpendicular lines in a plane can be chosen as the axis of coordinates nirupaka talamlo evaina paraspara lamba rekalanu nirupaka akshaluga ennukochu horizontal line as x axis and vertical line as y axis అడ్డు అడ్డు రేఖ ఎక్స్ అక్షంగా నిలువు రేఖ వై అక్షంగా తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ఆ రెండు రేఖల ఖండన బిందువు మూల బిందువుగా తీసుకుంటాం ద పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ అండ్ వై యాక్సిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఆరిజిన్ లైన్స్ డ్రాన్ ప్యారల్ టు ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఆర్ రిఫర్ టు హరిజాంటల్ లైన్స్ ఎక్సక్షానికి సమాంతరంగా గీసిన రేఖలను సమాంతర రేఖలు అని అండ్ ద లైన్స్ ప్యారల్ టు వై యాక్సిస్ ఆర్ రిఫర్ టు యాజ్ వెర్టికల్ లైన్స్ వయాక్షానికి సమాంతరంగా గీసిన రేఖలను నిలువు రేఖలు అంటాం ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఈజ్ వై ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ వై యాక్సిస్ is x is equal to 0 x aksha samikaranam y is equal to 0 y aksha samikaranam x is equal to 0 avutundi every point on x axis will have y coordinate as 0 and every point on y axis will have x coordinate as 0 so that's why the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 and the equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 
y is equal to k is the equation of the horizontal line which is at a distance k from the x axis and lying above the x axis y is equal to k ane samikaranam x akshaniki samantaranga untundi mariyu x akshaniki k unit la dooramlo untundi daniki pai bhagam y is equal to minus k is the equation of the horizontal line which is at a distance k from the x axis and lying below the x axis y is equal to minus k ane samikaranamu x akshaniki samantaranga k unit la dooramlo x akshaniki kindi bhagamlo untundi adhe vidhanga similarly x is equal to k is the equation of the vertical line which is at a distance k from the y axis and lying right side of the y axis x is equal to k ane samikaranam y akshaniki samantaranga k unit la dooramlo kudu vaipu y akshaniki kudu vaipu lo untundi x is equal to minus k is the equation of vertical line which is at a distance k from the y axis and lying left side of y axis My, x is equal to minus k samikaranam y akshaniki samantaranga k unit la dooramlo y akshaniki edamo vaipu untundi as you know let us observe this figure first figure so this horizontal line is x axis this vertical line is y axis and the point of intersection of x and y is origin ఈ అడ్డురేఖ ఎక్స్ అక్షము నిలువు రేఖ వై అక్షముగా తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ఈ రెండు రేఖల ఖండన బిందువు మూల బిందువుగా తీసుకుంటాం ద ద ప్లేన్ ఈజ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫోర్ ఈక్వల్ పార్ట్స్ బై కోఆర్డినేట్ యాక్సిస్ నిరూపక అక్షాల ద్వారా సమతలం నాలుగు భాగాలుగా విభజించబడుతుంది ఆ నాలుగు భాగాలను పాదాలు అంటాం వీ కాల్ దెమ్ యాజ్ క్వాడ్రెంట్స్ this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant so the coordinate axis divides the plane into four quadrants look at this one x and y axis the red line x is equal to minus 2 is represented by this red line so that is it is at the at a distance uh, two units from y axis y axis ki it is parallel to y axis and at a distance of two units and left side of the y axis x is equal to plus 2 ante adi parallel to y axis right side uh, at a distance of two units um. similarly you observe this blue line y is equal to 3 so y is equal to 3 is parallel to x axis at a distance of 3 units above the x axis idi x akshan ki samantaranga 3 unit la dooramlo pai bhagamlo untundi similarly if you take y is equal to minus 3 it is also parallel to x axis and below the x axis at a distance of 3 units so any equation y is equal to k is parallel to x axis and at a distance of k units any equation x is equal to k is parallel to y axis at a distance of k units and equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 and equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 any point on the x axis its uh, y coordinate is 0 if you take a point at 1 it is 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 3 comma 0 4 comma 0 so any point on the x axis will be in the form of x comma 0 so y coordinate is 0 that's why the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 similarly any point on the y axis that is 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 0 comma 3 0 comma minus 1 and so on 
So for any point on y axis, the x coordinate is zero. That's why the equation of y axis is x is equal to zero. All these things you have might have learnt in previous classes. Even in Kindi Tarathra Lomanam, tells you another thing. And another important concept: the slope of a straight line. Sarlare ka yoka valu. Very important concept. If a non-vertical line L makes an angle theta with the x-axis measured counterclockwise from the positive direction of x-axis, then tan theta is called the slope valu or gradient of the line L, and it is denoted by letter M. ఏదైనా ఒక రేఖ సరళ రేఖ ఎక్సక్షము ధన దిశలో ధన దిశ అంటే కౌంటర్ క్లాక్ వైజ్ యాంటీ క్లాక్ వైజ్ గడియారము తిరిగే దిశకు వ్యతిరేక దిశను కౌంటర్ క్లాక్ వైజ్ అంటాం సో దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ క్లాక్ వైజ్ కాకుండా యాంటీ క్లాక్ వైజ్ కౌంటర్ క్లాక్ వైజ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో యాంటీ క్లాక్ వైజ్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద పాజిటివ్ డైరెక్షన్ so this blue line is l and uh, the red uh, x and y axis so this line blue line l makes an angle theta measured counter clockwise from the positive direction of x axis x aksham dana dishalo gadiyarapu vetreka dishalo theta konam ఎక్సక్షంతో చేస్తే ఈ రేఖ యొక్క వాలు టాన్ టీటా అవుతుంది కోణం టీటా ఎక్సక్షం ధన దిశలో ఒక రేఖ టీటా కోణాన్ని చేసినప్పుడు ఆ రేఖ యొక్క వాలు టాన్ టీటా దీన్ని ఎం అని సూచిస్తాం ఎం అనే అక్షరంతో సో ద స్లోప్ ఈస్ డిఫైన్డ్ యాజ్ టాన్ టీటా where theta is the angle made by the line with positive x axis in the positive direction in the counter clockwise direction so this is the definition of slope valu valu m is equal to tan theta where theta is the angle made by the x axis with positive positive direction the vertical line makes a right angle with the x axis and therefore the slope of a vertical line is not defined a vertical line makes a right angle with the x axis నిలువు రేఖ ఎక్స్ అక్షంతో తొంభై డిగ్రీల కోణాన్ని చేస్తుంది ఏ నిలువు రేఖ అయినా ఎక్స్ అక్షంతో చేసే కోణం ఎనీ వెర్టికల్ లైన్ మేక్స్ నైంటీ డిగ్రీస్ విత్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఇన్ పాజిటివ్ డైరెక్షన్ దేర్ ఫోర్ టెన్ నైంటీ ఈస్ నాట్ డిఫైన్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ఫైనెట్ వాల్యూ దేర్ ఫోర్ ద స్లోప్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వెర్టికల్ లైన్ is not defined edaina nilu reka yokka valu anirdharakam dani nirdharinchalemo ani gurtinchukovali so any vertical line slope is not defined that is infinite indeterminate if a straight line is parallel to x axis then that is tan theta is equal to 0 slope tan 0 is 0 the slope of horizontal line is 0 so tan if a parallel line makes 0 degrees the angle is 0 so tan 0 value is 0 the slope of horizontal line is 0 the slope of vertical line is not defined if theta is acute tan theta is positive 
theta lagu konam aithe that is less than 90 degrees if uh, what is acute is less than 90 if theta value is less than 90 then tan theta is positive that is the slope is positive otherwise if the slope is a posi positive then the angle is acute and theta is obtuse tan theta is negative and you can take it vice versa if uh, the slope is negative then the angle made by the line with uh, positive in the positive direction of x axis is obtuse that is 90 the variation of theta is in the interval of 0 to pi 0 to 180 degrees the angle always in between 0 and 180 if l1 l2 are two non vertical lines l1 l2 lo rendu nilvu rekalu kaanatvanti rekalu aithe with slopes m1 and m2 l1 slope m1 l2 slope m2 and non vertical lines then l1 l2 are parallel to each other if and only if the m1 is equal to m2 that is the lines are parallel then slopes are equal and if the slopes are equal then the lines are parallel or parallel lines slopes are equal valulu samanam aithe rekalu samantara rekalu ledha samantara rekalu aithe samantara rekala valulu samanam l1 perpendicular to l2 then m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 and reverse m1 m2 minus 1 then the lines are perpendicular L1, L2 లు లంబరేఖలు అయితే వాటి వాలుల లబ్ధం మైనస్ వన్ అవుతుంది లేదా వాలుల లబ్ధం మైనస్ వన్ అయితే ఆ రెండు రేఖలు లంబరేఖలు స్లోప్ ఆఫ్ ఎ నాన్ వెర్టికల్ లైన్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ టూ పాయింట్స్ ఎక్స్ వన్ వై వన్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ టూ వై టూ ఈస్ వై టూ మైనస్ వై వన్ బై ఎక్స్ టూ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ఎక్స్ వన్ వై వన్ ఎక్స్ టూ వై టూ బిందువుల గుండా పోయే సరళరేఖ యొక్క వాలు నాన్ వెర్టికల్ లైన్ యొక్క వాలు వై టూ మైనస్ వై వన్ బై ఎక్స్ టూ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ అవుతుంది రెండు బిందువులు ఇచ్చినప్పుడు ఆ రెండు బిందువుల గుండా పోయే రేఖ యొక్క వాలుకు సూత్రం ఇది గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి ఫార్ములా టు ఫైండ్ స్లోప్ అండ్ టూ పాయింట్స్ ఆన్ ద లైన్ ఆర్ గివెన్ ఒక రేఖ పైన రెండు బిందువులు తెలిస్తే ఆ రేఖ యొక్క వాలు అనుకోవడానికి సూత్రం ఇది వై టూ మైనస్ వై వన్ బై ఎక్స్ టూ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ యాంగిల్ తెలిసినప్పుడు ఎక్సక్షంతో చేసే కోణం తెలిస్తే వాలు టాన్ టీటా అవుతుంది బిందువులు తెలిస్తే వాళ్ళు వై టూ మైనస్ ఫైవ్ వన్ బై ఎక్స్ టూ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ అవుతుంది ఇఫ్ ఎ స్ట్రేట్ లైన్ ఎల్ ఇంటర్సెప్ట్స్ ఇంటర్సెప్ట్స్ అంతర ఖండాలు ఇఫ్ ఎ స్ట్రేట్ లైన్ ఎల్ ఇంటర్సెప్ట్స్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఎట్ ఏ కామా జీరో అండ్ వై యాక్సిస్ ఎట్ జీరో కామా బి దెన్ ఏ అండ్ బి ఆర్ రెస్పెక్టివ్లీ కాల్డ్ ద ఎక్స్ ఇంటర్సెప్ట్ అండ్ వై ఇంటర్సెప్ట్ of the line look at the picture the line the red line inters intersects x axis at 5 comma 0 the distance between origin to the point of intersection 5 units so this uh, distance uh, is called uh, x intercept so this intercept uh, the distance 5 units is x intercept and the line intersects y axis at 0 comma 4 and the distance between origin and 
the point of intersection let us name it as a and this point as b so this distance from origin to the point of intersection is 4 units so this 5 units the 5 is the x intercept the length between origin and the point of intersection then the 4 is the y intercept so the length on y axis is y intercept so this is the concept of x and y intercepts antara gandalu x akshamu paina enta dooramlo reka kandistundo adi x antara gandam y aksham paina enta dooramlo reka y akshani kandistundo aa dooramu y antara gandam in this example x intercept is 5 y intercept is 4 different forms of different forms of a straight line slope intercept valu antarakanda roopam sarala rekha y is equal to mx plus b or mx plus c in in textbook it is written as y is equal to mx plus c so y x y is equal to mx plus c m is the slope and b is the y intercept in the textbook it is taken as c y is equal to mx plus c okay now let us take for white confusion y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the y intercept m anedi saral reka valu c y antaragandam idi slope intercept form antam this is the valu antaraganda roopam slope intercept form of a straight line point slope if one point and slope is given then the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 where m is the slope and x1 y1 is point on the line in standard form for a straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 or ax plus by where a is positive ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is the standard form of an equation of a straight line intercept form of a straight line x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a is the x intercept b is y intercept this is intercept form antarakanda roopam idi pramanika roopam modati de valu antarakanda roopam slope intercept form different forms of a straight line point slope bindu valu bindu roopam standard form pramanika roopam intercept form antaragandha roopam x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a and b are x and y intercepts respectively the vertical line x is equal to a or x is equal to k horizontal line y is equal to k or y is equal to b some constant look at this also the same slope point form slope if the slope and the point on the line are given then the equation of straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 two points on the line or given or known then y minus y1 by y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 by x1 minus x2 slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c where m slope and y intercept if you know slope and y intercept 
use this formula to find equation of straight line. If you know the intercepts x and y, then x by a plus y by b is equal to one. The formula to find equation of a straight line, and this is the normal form of a straight line, where the p is the distance length of the perpendicular from the origin to the line p. From mula bindu nundi sarla reka ko lamba dura mu p aite, and the alpha is the angle. Angle of the perpendicular made with x-axis. The inclination of a perpendicular is alpha. The lumbar mo x-axis to chese kona mo alpha. Remember the not the line is alpha is the angle made by the perpendicular with x-axis. If p and alpha are known. Then x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p is the equation of a straight line, and it is called a normal form, where p is the length of the perpendicular from the origin to the line, and alpha is the angle made by the perpendicular with x axis. So, general form, <coughs> in general, pramanika rupam lo a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. We know. <clears throat> so if the equation is in the general form x y l lo modati parimana samikaranam edaina adu oka saral rekanu suchistundi in first order equation in x and y or only in x or only in y always represents an equation of a straight line so this is the general form pramanika rupam ledha sadharana rupam saral reka yokka दी वालू स्लो मैनस ए बै बी अट मैनस को आफ एक्स बै को आफ वै वि गिव यू द स्लो इन द स्टाडर्ड फॉर्म इन द जनरल फॉर्म अंड एक्स इंटरसैप्ट मैनस सी बै ए वै इंटरसैप्ट मैनस सी बै बी अ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द आरिजन y is equal to mx or ax plus by y is equal to 0 to remember if there is no constant term if constant term is not there only x or only y or only x and y terms are there then the line pass passing through the origin samikaranam lo x y padalu maatrame unte sthirapadam lekapothe अभी वै इज ईक्वल टू एम एक्स लेक्स प्लस बी वै इज ईक्वल टू जीरो रूप में उ प्रति समीकरण मूल बिंदु गुंड सो दिशक्वे आलवेज पास थ्रू द आरिजन गुर्तवाल कांस्टेंट ले स्थिपदम लेकिन ओनली एक्स टर्म ओन वै टर्म आर् ओन एक्स अंड वै टर्म उ प्रति समीकरण मूल बिंदु गुंड now let us practice some problems from the exercise 3a find the slopes of the lines x plus y is equal to 0 and x minus y is equal to 0 just now we have observe the different forms of a straight line oka sarala reka yokka भिन्न रूपाल मन इंत मुदे तेजरेख विभिन्न रूपाल सो द गिवेन द फस्ट गिवेन ईक्वे नौ लेटर्स रईट रईट इट एस एक्स प्लस वै इज ईक्वल टू जीरो x plus y is equal to zero. It is in a standard form. Each na sami karna mo a x plus b y plus c rupam lo ondi. So din ki walu slope. So 
the slope will be minus a by b sarala reka pramanika rupam rupam lo unnapudu dani yokka valu minus a by b avutundi minus a by b so here a value x coefficient 1 b value y coefficient 1 therefore the slope valu minus a value 1 by b value 1 so minus 1 by 1 is minus 1 the slope of x plus y is equal to 0 is minus 1 and x minus y is equal to 0 the second line the slope of the second line x minus y is equal to 0 this is also in the general form standard form here the a value is 1 and b value is minus 1 then the slope m is equal to minus a by b so minus a value 1 and b value minus 1 minus minus will get cancel so therefore the slope of second line is 1 so if the line is given in standard form you can find the slope by using minus a by b and also you can convert it to y is equal to mx form then the m will be the slope now look at this find the equation of line passing through the points when two points when the two points are given on the straight line then the slope let the first point as ये इस नेम इट ए बी आन कुंटे वन माइनस टू लेट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एस एक्स वन वाई वन एंड सेकंड पॉइंट एस एक्स टू वाई टू देन स्लोप स्लोप व्हेन टू पॉइंट्स आर गिवन in the formula for slope y2 minus y1 the difference of y coordinates divided by difference of x coordinate x2 minus x1 if you take y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 it doesn't makes any difference you can take in that way also so the difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinates But remember, y two minus y one. If you take, then you take x two minus x one. If you take x one, y one minus y two, then take x one minus x two. So this is the formula to find slope when two points are given on the line. अगर एक अपने रेंड बिंदु लिस्टे वालों का नुकड़ान की दी फॉर्मूला. So now. y2 value minus 2 minus y1 value 2 divided by x2 value 1 minus x1 value 1 that is minus 4 by 0 that is not defined here the slope is not defined slope is not defined if the slope is not defined then it is a vertical line we note if the 
slope is not defined nirvachinchabadaledu varu nirvachinchabadapothe that implies the line is vertical line so vertical line that is vertical line is always x is equal to some value k so here therefore the equation of equation of the straight line passing through this point is x is equal to k x x value 1 therefore x is equal to 1 the x coordinate is 1 in both the points so therefore the equation of straight line is x is equal to 1 or you can find you can find by using formula also that is equation of straight line <clears throat> when slope and the point is given y minus y1 and m into x minus x1 so by using this formula if you substitute y minus y1 we take first point y1 value 2 and m value infinite or minus 4 by 0 and x minus x1 is 1 So four by zero becomes zero by four. So zero by four. If you bring this side, so x minus one. Zero by four is zero, and zero into anything is zero. So this becomes. Zero is equal to x minus one, or x minus one is equal to zero, or x is equal to one. By using the formula, also you can find. Or if you know if the slope is not defined, then it is a vertical line. That is x is equal to k form. So the x coordinate is one. So x is equal to one is the equation of a line. and look at this find the angle which the straight line y is equal to y is equal to root 3x minus 4 makes with the y axis y is equal to root 3x minus 4 अने रेखा वाय अक्षम तो चेसे कोना ने कान कॉल वाय अक्षम तो चेसे कोनो ये एक्स एक्सिस सो लेट दिस इज एक्सिस सो हियर दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस आलफा अच्छे वै अक्ष तो चेसे कोण इधी मन कॉलेट कंपेर दिश दिशन इज in the form of y is equal to mx plus c roopam lo undi ichina atvanti samikaranam y is equal to mx plus c roopam lo undi here the m value is root 
and C value minus four. What is M? M is the tan theta. M is tan theta. Tan theta is root three. So therefore, tan sixty degrees. Since tan sixty degrees value is root three. Therefore, here the theta is sixty degrees. So, what is theta? Angle made by the line with x-axis. X-axis तो जैसे कौन हम sixty degrees. So, therefore, the angle made by the line with x axis is equal to 60 degrees now we have to find the angle made by the line with y axis y axis tho chese konam ganukovali slope anedi x axis tho chese konam vastundi so this is a very important don't get confused the what is slope by the definition of slope tan theta is the slope and theta is the angle made by the line with x axis so now theta value 60 degrees so this is the angle made by the line with x axis and the remaining angle we have to find the angle made by the line with y axis kaval mana with y axis so that is 90 minus 60 is 30 degrees we know the angle between x and y is 90 degrees x aksham y aksham ki madhya konamu 90 degree untundi एक्स वै अक्ष मध्य कोण सो इन अरवे डिग्री एक्स अक्ष तो चेस्ट मिगली वै अक्ष थर्टी डिग्री अो देर फोर थर्टी डिग्री और इन रेडियन फाइव बै थर्टी डिग्री इज ईक्वल टू फाइव बै सिक्स रेडियन So degree level, chappochu. Then radian level, chappochu. So the angle made by the line with y-axis is 30 degrees or pi by 6 radians. Now let us look at this. Write the equation of the reflection of the line x is equal to 1 in the y-axis. now let us take x and y coordinate axis now this is let x axis x aksham idi y aksham iskunataithe x is equal to 1 so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 like this x is equal to one अंते x अक्षमु one देखरा y की parallel गा उन्ने line so x is equal to one is the line which is parallel to y axis so this is x is equal to one so दिन reflection अंते left side ओसुन्दी y अक्षान की left side दिन reflection at the same distance that is one units so the reflection will be on the left side at one units that is x is equal to minus 1 so therefore the reflect equation of the reflection is 
x is equal to minus one, or minus one if you bring left side, x plus one is equal to zero out on it. y अक्षांश की प्रतिबिंबों y अक्षांश की x is equal to one यानी दी right side लो उन्हें दान की प्रतिबिंबम left side लो अंते दूरम लो उस तुम्हें क्या बोलते उका unit दूरम लो right side लो x is equal to one होना पड़ो अंते दूरम लो left side उन्हें line है दान की प्रतिबिंबम हो तुम दी अधे x is equal to minus one और x plus one is equal to zero write the equation next question write the equation of straight line parallel to x axis and at a distance of 3 units above the x axis look at this now we have to write the equation of straight line parallel to x axis undu let us name x and y x axis 3 units above and 4 units below now let us take the line so this is x axis and uh, this one as y axis so this is x aksham and this is y axis so 1 2 3 four so 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 this is scale now x axis at a distance of 3 units above the x axis now so above the x axis 3 units that is at 3 so this line parallel to x axis so this is y is equal to 3 so the equation equation of straight line which is parallel to x axis and at a distance 3 is y is equal to 3 or y minus 3 is equal to 0 now equation at a, a distance of 4 units below the x axis x section ki kind bhagam lo 4 unit lo dooram lo ante x section kind ante 4 unit lo dooram ante minus 4 so this is the line below x axis and parallel to x axis at a distance of 4 units below ante minus 4 avutundi x minus 4 below and after x is equal to minus k so k is the distance so the equation of line is x is equal to minus 4 so therefore so equation of straight line at a distance of 4 units and parallel to x axis 
below four units below so that is x is equal to minus 4 or x plus 4 is equal to 0 So x plus four is equal to zero. Is the equation of a straight line parallel to x-axis and at a distance of four units below x-axis? X-axis kind of bagam lo naalu unit la duram lo saman taranga onde reka x is equal to minus four. X ko saman taranga mudi unit la duram lo pi bagam lo onde reka ante y is equal to three. Y is equal to three and y is equal to minus four. Not x. This is y is equal to minus four. So y is equal to minus four. Y plus four is equal to zero. Y plus four is equal to zero. Y is equal to Three or y minus three is equal to zero. Now look at this. Write the equation of straight line parallel to y-axis and uh, at a distance of two units from x-axis, uh, from uh, y-axis to the right of it, and at a distance of five units from the y-axis to the left of it. Two units. right side five units left side now let us take the axis so let us take this as x axis and let us take this as y axis 0 1 2 3 -1 -2 -3 -4 -5 -6 now two units from the y axis to the right of it y अक्षान के रेंडु यूनिट लो कुड़िवाई पो राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ़ द स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरेलल टू y एक्सिस y अक्षान के समान तरंगा कुड़िवाई पो रेंडु यूनिट ला दूर हम लो सो y के समान तरंगा रेंडु यूनिट ला दूर हम लो द लाइन दिस वन so this is the x value is 2 therefore the equation of this line is x is equal to 2 so therefore equation of straight line parallel to y axis at a distance of two units right side so is x is equal to 2 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 the second bit this is first one and the second one Distance of five units from the y-axis to the left of it. Left side five units. Y के समान तरंगा left side five units लो उन दे सरल रेखा समीकरणम माना को इधर होता है. So the the equation x value minus five x is equal to minus five. So therefore equation of straight line parallel to y axis and 
at a distance phi units left side is x is equal to minus phi or x plus phi is equal to zero minus phi left side ki ochina put plus phi out on so very simple very easy these are all basic concepts so with this i conclude today's class and we will continue uh, problem solving in the next class